Hi guys and welcome to a new edition of Our Life with John and Bogdan from the beautiful Texas. Welcome everybody. It's hot summer days of June. So uh, we hope you're staying cool. We are and uh, we got a lot to share. We've been a while but we got some catching up to do. still here. Anyway, so if you guys like what you see today, like, subscribe and um, hit on that notification button so you can stay in touch with us. Hi, I'm John and this is Bogdan. Join us on our journey as we figure out how to earn a living as artists, introduce you to those we meet, and share what we learn along the way. Hey guys, here we are again, busy and uh, uh, you know caught in all kinds of projects, and uh, we are now getting uh, ready for Romania. Yeah, it's been, it's been uh, a year. Yeah, when the, again, we want to combine a little holiday with a little work. Uh, and uh, and a little dental work. And a little dental work this time, because you can't beat the prices. And, you know, I trust them. Those are the people who fix my thing. But anyway, let's get back to uh, more serious uh, aspects of it. So, one of the reasons we go to Romania is to um, do some research for an Aripa Arte. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, you have been working more than me these days on developing all kinds of strategies and, and ideas on what are we, you know, ideally want to do while there. Yeah, I mean, the, the idea, of, well, first of all, Aripa is, is still moving along. Uh, we've actually hired an attorney to help. Uh, we had submitted one application uh, on the form, short form, and they've sent it back and said, you can't use the short form, use the long form. So we're still still in the process of applying for that uh, 501c3 tax-free status. And I know that somebody at the very beginning told us, you know, expect delays, expect oh, yeah. back and forth. And I'm telling you, um, he is doing much better than me. I'm kind of... Uh, lost it the other day. I was like, oh my God, what is this? Another paper? What? It, it, um, it frightened. It seems like it's endless, but it's not. It, it, we will get through this. It's just a matter of time. It frightened me. So one of the things we've had to do for the attorney then, and this long form, is uh, the, the, the short form is like three pages. The long form is 24 pages. So there's a lot more stuff we have to provide, which is great. Uh, it's a lot of planning, a lot of kind of creating things out of the air because we don't have a nonprofit yet. So the whole process has been really, really difficult, but it's really, really good for us to think about all these aspects that uh, we, nor we might not have known to plan for. Uh, so anyway, that's going along. And one of the things that we really, really want to do is we're starting to kind of identify the programming we want to do for this nonprofit, uh, which is basically uh, aimed at helping Romanian artists sus uh, create sustainable art businesses. And one of the things we wanted to make sure we didn't do was make a bunch of plans about what Romanian artists need without asking a bunch of Romanian artists. So now when we're going to Romania this year, uh, this summer, we want to spend some real time talking with Romanian no. artists, gallery owners, museum folks, whoever's involved in the art world there, and, and see what they think are the biggest needs, because those are the ones we want to address first. You know, run um, some briefly surveys to understand uh, what's going on. But that's about Romania, and uh, there's, I'm, I'm excited about it. It's, I'm kind of missing that place. Yeah. I'm, I'm already switching to, oh, oh, I want to, I'm in the mood for um, that kind of particular food, and it's like, oh, I'm planning. Uh, so uh, my, Home my, my mind uh, switch already to Romania, but um, we're back and forth from these countries. We just got back, guys, from a trip to Mexico City, right. which was fantastic. Um, we actually, as usually, combine some work and uh, some uh, leisure together. We finally made it to Mexico City, and here we are in the airport waiting for the luck.
We actually went there to pick up some of my artworks that Can were in uh, Michael Strand's gallery for what two years now. Almost two years uh, at and, the uh, uh, art art gallery studios with Michael Swank. And then uh, we got that home, and now um, it's uh, another part of the journey to try sell this and advertise those uh, right. pieces here, but one step at a time. And then it was we, a great trip. He, we enjoy Mexico City very, very much. So I think, you know, I, I, you plan those things in this uh, kind of uh, cities to kind of rest in a way there was no rest, guys. Oh, well, that's typical. When you're traveling with Bogdan, there is no rest. I'm, I, we were... Uh, <laughs> I, I tried years ago. I said, okay, we're going to go to New York, but we're only going to stay two days because otherwise he will run me ragged because we can't see everything in two days. We saw everything in two days. <laughs> well, not, not quite. Um, what we've seen most of them is like probably all... Uh, uh, a shoe stores All the on, shoe stores, uh, certainly. On Fifth Avenue. Top of the mountain uh, at uh, Guadalupe's, the the site at the top of Mount Tepeyac, where Mary appeared to uh, uh, to the peasant. The roses were given to him that stained his tunic. Let's discover this. We've done the tour of the church. Yeah, it's lovely. Now there's some gardens. And now we're going to see the gardens down there. So uh, we had a great trip to Mexico City and uh, we done some touristic stuff and then uh, we went through uh, a lot of museum and get inspired and mm -hmm. uh, you know try to connect to the Mexican culture. It was fantastic. Yeah, it really was. I mean, we had been to Mexico City. I, I had been in the 70s. That's how old I am. But uh, we had been a couple of years ago. Mm -hmm. And we were so busy at the art fair that we didn't have any time to do anything. And so we did. We, we did some tourist stuff. We went to Chapultepec Park. We went to, to see the Modern Art Museum, the Contemporary Art Museum. Uh, what else did we do? Various museums. Uh, we some got, of the really uh, cool architectural places. We as got well. soaked rain. We rain, got rained on. Uh, and really bad. And uh, that forced us to discover the. Mexican uh, metro. So we were the metro trying to get out of the rain. Interesting. And uh, what else? We met with some uh, other Romanian artists there mm -hmm. uh, that live in Mexico City. That was lovely. And they're going to be in Romania when we're there. So that's so a lovely, small yeah. world. And then um, I can't remember. There was so much going on. There's a lot of food involved. Uh, fabulous food. Anyway, guys, if you haven't uh, made it to Mexico City, please it's, it's do. Yeah. Do go and see it, take it step by step, don't rush it like us in four days, take yourself, give yourself a week at least. You know, and we were looking at the, the art there and, and as we were walking around the city, uh, I remember Bogdan, you mentioned uh, 
it is, there's no way that living here with this light and with these colors and the tropical, uh, tropical, mm -hmm. but with the, you know, yeah, it is in that way. Virtually. And that, that there's no way that that could, wouldn't affect your art mm -hmm. and, and the colors and the, the patterns. And therefore, I came back home, yeah. so inspired, and then that very first week back home, I wanted to create some work that was in my head, I was like playing with ideas, so I created these four pieces, and two of them just sold, I haven't had even the chance to photograph them. Yeah, you, luckily you signed them. <laughs> yes, but anyway, uh, those are lovely works. Yeah, and it's, it's really, really inspirational when you can go someplace and start to soak in that those elements that you wouldn't feel other places and, mm -hmm. and just make mm -hmm. it part of your practice. I, I think that's and great. I mean, it's, there's so many, there's a particular sort of colors and some softness in that. It, it inspired me so much, mm -hmm. uh, you know, and I completely changed the look of my, my work. And uh, somebody came in the studio said like, oh my God, those are so different, so Mexican. And I said, because they are influenced from Mexico City, of course they are Mexican. But anyway, I, I, we have a ball. Yeah, it was a great trip. And it was a fairly short trip, it's only four days. But we had to get back because we were, we've got, well, we had an opening before. We had the opening. And an opening after. So we had the opening before Mexico and that it's the Urbana series, John and I, uh, kind of did one day uh, exhibition at Silver Sea Studios and we joined our power and we created new works for the Urbana. Actually Urbana was born a year ahead, a, a year, year back uh, while we were in Romania. So uh, we decided that, you know, I created so much work, it's time to, to put it up there for the world to see it. Some of the pieces I've already sold as I made them and I said, let's, let's combine our powers and just mark this uh, Urbana yeah, it all, moment. It was all work, new work, and for you that it wasn't all brand new work, but it was none of the work had shown before, so it was all new as far as an exhibition. And I think so. It, we just did a, a quick two-person exhibition, one night only. Yeah. You know? So I think it turned out very, very nicely. And if you guys are watching this video and you happen to be uh, there that night. Well, thank you for stopping yes, by, thanks. and uh, again, thank you to all of you just for supporting us if you are not able to uh, be here in Houston. But I think it was a success. We sold several pieces uh, yeah, from the series and out of the series because uh, the exhibition space was next to our art studio and people, you know, like to dig Hold into around, all yeah. stuff and it, it was lovely. But um, it was lovely. We had a great catering. We had a bartender. People, I think, had a really nice evening, and that's what we wanted. We wanted a, a collector's evening uh, for the people that we know and the people that were new uh, could uh, see what we've been up to and enjoy each other as well as the art that we were providing. And as we were actually getting ready for this exhibition, yes. we are actually hanging the salon show in the same space. This is a, uh, the, art, the, the, the Art is a Silver Street Studios exhibition at Silver Street, which take place for one month, a little over a month. Eight weeks, uh -huh. And um, that, that occupied uh, a lot of time. A lot of setup. I mean, it's, it's, we have 42 artists and that, I don't know, the building is huge. And when you think about trying to fill that much space with, with art, what we did was, we do this every year, we have what is called a salon show and it's the based on that old French uh, salon visits that people would go in and to the artist studios and you have paintings all the way to the ceiling. Uh, and so what we did was we gave each artist 12 feet 
uh, in the main corridor, and they could decorate it any way they choose, mm. uh, chose, and uh, could change it as often as they they felt like. And but. so we had that set up, and then of course all the side hallways and back hallways still needed to be addressed. So uh, the program director at uh, um, at Sawyer Yards, uh, Alexander Squire, he was our curator and curated the back. So we, we ended up with a big show, mm -hmm. and it's it's a great show because people really express themselves in that 12, 12 feet space that they've got. And uh, you can imagine the the uh, length, the the the, the space, uh, and I don't know how the only people left home because everybody else goes in holiday somewhere. Uh, it's the two of us trying to do all the lighting in that place uh, right before yep. my trip to Mexico and I was uh, broken that night. Yes, you I could hardly thought, move. I thought that mm, something's going on in my back so I couldn't move and I said but I'm not giving up my Mexico City trip so I'm going in a... Um, and we uh, walked enough to work it out of your system. Yeah. Anyway, no, it's really great, and, and we're very fortunate to have the opportunity to do these shows. We get five, six shows a year, and that builds not only our notoriety and, and, and uh, hopefully marketing of our materials, but it also helps the building and, and lets people see mm -hmm. that we are serious artists, that there's a group of us, and that this is the kind of work that we do. So it's, it's very, very fortunate. You know, you think when you get 30, uh, excuse me, 60, other artists all in one building that you're going to have a lot of competition and I suppose that might be true to some degree but generally not I mean um, none of us do the same kinds of work and so we're really not competing against one another uh, and, and to have that camaraderie and that inspiration from one artist to the next it's just a great experience I, I feel very lucky to be there But pretty much this is uh, we've done so far this couple of weeks that uh, um, we wander in between countries and exhibitions <laughs> and uh, hopefully hopefully I uh, we keep you very interested and motivated to your projects mm -hmm. so um, if you again if you like what you've seen today subscribe like and hit the notification button so, so you stay in touch with uh, whatever is new in us. Sounds great. Hope you're having a wonderful summer and we'll talk to you again very soon. Have a great week. Let's get some tan. Let's go tan? No, it's too <laughs> hot. Bye, Bye guys. Now.